Hi, my name is Alicia. I'm Aiden. I'm Connor. I'm Yasmin, and this is Gen, Gen Z, Z Speaks. Speaks. No, okay, fuck no. No, cheating is a, no, no way. Like, I, I don't, I don't care how much I have loved you previously. If you cheat on me, that's it. It's over. Yeah. Hundred percent. I'm so angsty about cheating, bro. <laughs> No, nah, cheating is like a no-no for me. Like, I don't care if you were like the love of my life. I wanted to marry you one day. And you cheat on me. That means you didn't love me, right? What the? F yeah, exactly. I feel like it's easier said than done. Like you always like no, like cheating is not allowed. But but then eventually you will not marry the person. So like you will, you will drag out the relationship for a while more because you cannot let go because of the strings attached. But then at the end of the day, like you know, like I got cheated on before. So I, I'm, I'm not going to live the rest of my life with this person. But how did he cheat on you, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, he was on like dating apps. So it was for like... I think when you all were like together? Yeah, it was for hookups and stuff. And then, uh, I think it's because I couldn't give him the, the physical, sexual needs he wanted. That's fucked up. Yeah. But he hid it from you, right? Like so the dating app for hookups? Yeah, definitely. Oh my god. Okay, so right. How I found out, right, was this girl. Her Instagram I, uh, handle was MaddieXAmanda34. Yes, exposed, let's go! <laughs> oh yeah, I think that's the real name. She created a fake account oh. to DM me. Yeah, so one day she replied my story and she was like, Hi, what would you do if I told you that your boyfriend was cheating on you? I was so scared lah. She like, gradually showed me all her screenshots of her text with my ex then. She knew that I was together with my ex from my Instagram. So she, she was trying to help me dig out evidence. Like without telling me. Oh. Yeah. I believe in karma so like I feel like it would go around. Excuse me? What are the Meaning evidence, they, what are the evidence that backs up that fact? They are, they are oh. built to have multiple partners. Oh fuck no. You, you can be- That's bullshit. It's just like a stupid conspiracy like blue balls. Blue balls doesn't even exist. It does exist. No, it does not. It's, it's like, oh my god, I'm so horny right now. Can you fuck me? And the girl's like, no. And then you're like, oh, but I'm gonna have blue balls. It's gonna be so painful. Then I'm like, fucking jerk off lot. It doesn't mean I have to fuck oh. you, right? No, no, no. It's not really stupid. Yeah, it's not. It's not as bad as how people make it sound, for sure. Yeah. I mean, there's different forms of cheating. Some girls or guys can see like just talking to the opposite gender is cheat is cheating, and in that way, I would say no, that's a bit too much. Um, yeah, talking is fine. Yeah, because I mean, everyone has their own different expectations. Mm -hmm. But then for me, I would say personally that if someone like cheats, as in like goes behind my back to talk to another guy, that's, that's the most that. wrong thing you can do. Uh, because more than anything, it's just disrespectful. You don't like me anymore. Just tell me. Mm -hmm. We can just end it and it's fine. But then purposely hiding it from me is just discrediting me as a person. I feel like hiding and lying is cheating. Yeah. It's being unfaithful. Mm -hmm. So you don't believe in second chances? I do! Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, first fact, I got cheated on before. Second chances, like, if cheating was not the issue. Like a genuine mistake. Like if I'm very infatuated with that person, and I, and I wanted to make it work, and so did she, and she was willing to like acknowledge her mistake and like be better, then yeah. I've Talk about like mistakes, right? What happens if you do like, oh, you found out that your girl went to a club, right? She got really drunk, right? And then she went home with some dude, but you don't know what she did. And then the next morning, like, she didn't tell you about it. You found out from your friends. W would you consider that she was out? She was like drunk and stuff. That would be her excuse. Would you consider that a no go? Or you consider that like yeah, what the fuck? An honest mistake. No, yeah. Like, what's the limit basically? What what at what point, right? Would you think like that's not her just making a mistake? That's her just trying to cheat. Well, no, because I think alcohol doesn't make you act differently. It makes you do things that you were scared to do sober, you feel me? I feel like alcohol just makes you more confident. Yeah. But like, it doesn't mean that like, oh yeah, I was so drunk, I accidentally slept with a guy. Like, how do you yeah. accidentally sleep with someone when you're drunk? Like, I hate it when people use like alcohol as an excuse. It's like, uh, yeah. bitch, yeah. I get drunk every day. I know what the fuck I'm doing. Alcohol's you know what the, I mean? Like, alcohol is the most pathetic excuse I've yeah. seen people use. I've seen, so I've seen guys use it as an excuse to molest girls and mm. stuff. I use it. I've seen girls use it as an excuse to sleep with other men. It's if you did it drunk, you wanted to do it sober. Exactly. But I think what I would call a mistake is like, like nothing, and it nothing to do with her being with someone else. <laughs> what would you do, right, if your girlfriend slept with another girl? I actually, I actually don't know. I haven't given that any thought. That's a tough question, dude. Still, it's still the act of intimacy yeah. with someone who's. Not it's not about the person. It's not about the gender. It's about the her going behind your back. The disrespect to you. It just means that she's not satisfied with me, and that's not an issue that I have to fix. I'm satisfied with myself. You satisfy yourself? No, I'm satisfied. Well, I do sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> satisfied with 
satisfied. Oh, I think I'm satisfied that. with myself. But would you hear out first? Like, for example, if you caught your girlfriend cheating, right? Would you like meet up with her and talk to, talk to her about like why did you cheat, or were you just you don't want to hear the reason, you just let her go? I'd I'd probably I'd probably speak to her, yeah, but like I, I, I'm a, I wouldn't let her change my mind though. Yeah. But if someone wanted to stay loyal, you would. What? Like, you wouldn't put yourself in that position or situation where anything can happen, right? Exactly, yeah. yeah. That's why I don't understand why people cheat. Like, if you don't like the person, then just say, oh, like, sorry, I'm not feeling you. Then, I mean, like, it's, break up. it's hard. Like, I mean, I'm not saying I'm justifying it, but it's hard. Like, remember if you're dating this, like, your significant other for like five, six years, you're so comfortable with him, right? But then one night you just, like, let it slip. It's not as if they completely lost feeling for the other party and that's why they cheated. They could still love them to death, but they then. They're just curious. Yeah, right? they're just feeling extra horny or whatever, and then they mess up. But it's not as if all the feelings before right, were just gone. They're still there. But that means that person didn't love his or her partner. Well, yeah. Because or... I feel like if you really love someone, you would never do anything yeah. to hurt the person. Yeah, it's, it's a tough uh, situation. because It depends on the situation. Because, for example, like. <laughs> you said kidding. all that. Oh, yeah, this is the situation. <laughs> I feel like second chances, yes, but cheating is a no. So if cheating falls under the category of second chances, then no. But like, I feel like second chances can also be like, oh, you lied about something. But it's not like anything that would like hurt or like disrupt the relationship. If it's just like a little white lie, whatever, then it's fine. I'll be like, okay, never mind, don't do it again. But like, if he does it again, then like, you fuck it lah. But like, cheating is like a no. As a gentleman, it would be nice if the guy were to pay on the first date. Uh, I think for me, regardless of first date or any other date, I want to pay for myself. But then if she demands it or she expects it, that's a whole other issue. Like, I feel like first date is really nice if a guy were to pay. A so-called red flag, in my opinion. I agree. It's like, I was already going to, but like, because you're demanding it, it's kind of like... No. Yeah, exactly. Then I don't think it's necessary. People like not impressed if he doesn't offer. I would never offer to pay. <laughs> I would instantly half half. I feel like you shouldn't go out if you don't have money.